Capricorn, welcome back. Let's see what's going on with your energy, Capricorns. What does Capricorn need to see or hear at this moment? Let's see. Minera, what does Capricorn need to know or hear at this moment in the current energy? Pac oh, what was I going to say? Patrick or Patty or Pat. Something like that was going to come out of my mouth. Might be a confirmation for somebody here, Capricorn. Capricorn. There's a juggling energy here. I feel like you know about this. I feel like, you know, you're picking this up in some sort of way. I feel like intuitively you know somebody here is doing something, either juggling you, either juggling for money, either juggling you around, like cheating. But they're doing something behind the scenes, and you you know about this. I feel like this person is a person that just goes along everywhere they can and they just jump from place to place like let's say there's a group here they want to be in that group there's a group there but i feel like in some sort of way i feel them i see them serious in some type of way but that could be a person that's very guard up too but it's a juggling energy and i feel like you feel like this person is infinity for you you might think it's a, a twin flame or a connection like that but i feel like this person is a person that jumps around a lot you feel me is a person that likes to have different options you know whenever they can you're coming in like the high priest so i feel like you you're picking up intuitively things that might be happening or things that you might be thinking about or noticing that just that rubs you in the wrong way you feel me and i feel like for the most part it's like intuitively you're picking up something here but you can't quite get it and some of you, you might have picked it up. You might have busted your person cheating or talking to somebody or doing something you didn't want them to do. But this person is very friendly with a lot of people. Is a person that, you know, even people that you don't talk to or people that you're standing in a line or doing something, they're very friendly. It's like a person and you don't like that for some reason. But I feel like this person has cheated in some sort of way. It's like, I'm picking up the energy of a person that, they go along with whatever in life. It is what it is, is what I'm picking up here. A person that goes along with anything. You're coming like the high priest. You're very intuitive. Whatever comes into your mind, that your guides are telling you, your ancestors, your past loved ones, whatever it is, you pick it up quickly. Sometimes you stay quiet, you don't say a damn thing. It's like you stay so quiet, it's like locking a fucking key on a door and throwing away the key. You feel me? It's like throwing away the motherfucking key and nobody can find that key. You're being quiet and very silent here. You know, about somebody here that's juggling the energy. Somebody that's doing foolish things. But you're staying very quiet. I feel like you're trying to see what this person's about or what they're trying to do. Or how fast or how much they continue this. The King of Swords is coming out in the bottom of the deck. You know, when this time comes or already came, there's not going to be no emotions for you. Nothing of that sort. You're going to be so direct and blunt. And so, like, rude is what I'm hearing. With this person, you're going to have no fucking emotions here. With somebody here, because they are juggling here. There's going to be money trouble here. In the way there is money trouble, this person likes to nurture themselves a lot. It's like a person that likes to um, be living a good life or give or something like that to themselves or their family. And it's like, oh, that's all they want. But at the same time, it's like you're doing yourself, you're doing good, you're nurturing yourself, you're giving yourself things, you know, you're you're doing things that you've never done before, you're being spontaneous here, Capricorn, or you're trying up, you're trying to open up the way of being spontaneous, you got the three of um cups in the bottom of the deck, enjoying yourself, going out, having fun, trying to like go back, she's saying, look, finances coming in. Okay, so if you are doing bad with money, or just a little bit, listen, everybody hits the rocky roads, you feel me? It's up and downs. You're going to be doing good with financially. Financially, you're going to be doing good. You're going to be nurturing yourself. You're going to be buying yourself things you, you wanted to buy yourself, whatever it is, clothes, money. You're going to be able to help people here, and that you're enjoying that right now. If, if there's a situation here where you're not doing this for yourself, 
You need to start doing this for yourself. Nurture yourself. Buy things for yourself. Do things for yourself. Go out. Even if you go out by yourself. But you got to start doing things for yourself. Because I see that you've done here a lot for people. And intuitively, you always pick up a fuck up. And it always ends up fucking up. Whoever you're dealing with here is jumping around from person to person. If they're not doing it right now because they're stuck in an energy where you're with them all day long, they're communicating with other people. They are going to walk away here. They're a person that likes to walk away from people. I don't know why. They love to nurture themselves so much, but with like high gifts, expensive gifts, they might come off like they don't, but that's all an act here. They're after some type of money here. Yeah, it's like they want to be in the limelight. They want to be the one on top of everything. It's like, you know, the Empress is coming out here. Taurus and Libra energy. You might be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. But, you know, you're coming out with the star card. Balancing out your life, doing good things for yourself. It's like you're learning how to balance everything out. And you need to start nurturing yourself. Because once you start balancing out your life, even if it's with abundance, success, Whatever it is, work. You need to like start nurturing yourself and start giving to yourself if you haven't done it yet. It doesn't matter if you don't have money or that much money. You can do something every day for yourself that makes you feel better for yourself. You feel me? Because I feel like a lot of people here have let you down. And whatever situation you're going on here with a person, it's it's a lot of like abundance as I'm seeing here. Look, it came out on the fence almost in reverse. Yeah, the moon card. Here it is. You're dealing here with a queen of wands in reverse. That likes to party. That likes to be out in the scene. That's keeping a lot of secrets. The moon card is about secrets. Hidden things. You know, things that you don't know about a person here. Things that will come to light when it's time to come out. There's a lot of darkness surrounding this person. There's a lot of secrets that you don't know about this person. If you met this person already... You could be falling in love with this person or you're in love with this person or you were in love with this person. And I feel like you want to give everything to a person here that you're going to meet here. And you're going to give this person everything that you want to give this person. You're going to nurture this person and I feel like you're going to give this person so much that it's going to overwhelm you. There's going to be a lot of celebrations here. You might marry this person here that you're going to meet. There's a person coming in here. But you're dealing with a queen of wands in reverse here. Somebody with no self-confidence. Somebody that looks for people to have that confidence. Somebody here that the passion is gone. So you might have been dealing with somebody because a lot of Capricorn's energy in here. You might have been dealing with somebody here that the passion is gone already. Or the passion is going to end here. You're going to meet somebody here in the process. The way that this person's coming off here is like they're very loving. They're very nurturing. Like they care a lot. But it's a person that no matter what they do, no matter who they're with, it's like a person that jumps around from people to people. That's what's bothering me here. I'm going to confirm that full card. Which I don't do that, but I'm doing that in my readings now. It's funny because no matter how it comes out, the ancestors come out saying everything. Let me see. Mineta. What else here? Yeah. It's like... You're tired of fighting everybody in your life. You're tired of putting up a bullshit. You're tired of, like, you know, not nurturing yourself and nurturing others. It's like there was a blessing coming your way and something stopped here. There was some sort of blessing or finance uh, blessing or financial issues or something you wanted to build or money, but something stopped here. Somebody stopped this. The energy of this person is very dark. You know, it doesn't mean that they're very dark. It just means their energy is very dark. But at the end of the day, this person has having a lot of financial situations. Who are you dealing with here? And they might leave you drained or they might have left you drained already. It's like they see themselves to be the best, you know, very sexy, very prerogative. You know, a person that is, you know, a person that's very good in the bedroom is what I'm hearing here. But at the end of the day, they don't have no emotions. They're a person that lets their guard down and pretends like they don't have no confidence, that they're not good enough, but it's all an act is what I'm hearing. My God, mi negra. Who the fuck? Like, what the, I don't know what the fuck I'm reading here. What else for Capricorn here? Came out on the fence. Your guard is up. Capricorns, you know something's happening here that's not right. And you might just be keeping quiet. I see a little silence here. I don't know, silence here, but you keeping your guard up here with somebody. 
It might be a person you're dealing with, a past person, but I'm like somebody you're dealing with now or in the future that's coming in. You're going to have your guard up with somebody here. Your confidence next to this person, I feel like whoever here you're dealing with, your confidence, when this person is next to you, your confidence goes down. By the way, they act and proceed with themselves. You feel me? The page of wands is in the bottom of the deck. Very tricky person here. This reading is interesting. Let me see what else here. Give me one more. Me negative. Yeah, the page of cups. A person that comes in will be with you for a while. Two or three years. Two or three months. Six to seven months. Maybe even five years. But they're always in the fuckery. It's like they, they, they come in in a way. Listen, with the knight of swords in the bottom of the deck. No emotions whatsoever. It's a person that pretends to be emotional. To love. To care. But deep down inside they have no emotions. They're very immature when it comes to relationships. And dealing with any type. But they like to party a lot. I see a lot of drinking here. This person might be an alcoholic or drinks a lot. It might be a person that every weekend they have to drink or they always have to have a beer or um, liquor in their hands to keep moving. And it's not because they can't function without liquor in their hands. It's just they like to drink a lot. And they might be an alcoholic. And even if they only drink on the weekends, every weekend drinking is not good. That's an alcoholic right there. But this person likes to drink a lot. And they like to use a lot of drugs. So be careful with this person because it can cause you a problem. You know, riding out with a person like this. If you like this person, nurture yourself and do yourself because your walls are up. And it's like, I feel like for other energies here, it's like you're just waiting for that right moment to move on. I don't know why this... Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah. Confirmation right there. <laughs> That's just me talking Spanish, people. Yeah, my negra is like trying to throw cards everywhere. And that's when she starts confirming things for me the way that I see it. But I don't even know what I was saying. Hold on. Yeah. Let's see. What's next here for Capricorn? Mi negra. Let me see. What is next here for Capricorn Minera? The Harafat in reverse. This person, let me tell you something, bro. I cannot make shit up here, Capricorns. This person is very regretful of something they either did or they're going to do here. It's like they're ashamed of something they're going to do or they did. This person is going to either leave walk away, they're juggling and they feel regretful, but at the same time juggling and feeling regretful doesn't fix things in a relationship, you feel me? It's like they go and they cheat or they talk to somebody or they talk to anybody or whatever the case may be or they're going to cheat and then they're going to be regretful after and like, oh look what I did and I didn't mean to do that to themselves that doesn't make no sense, don't fucking go out and cheat on anybody, you feel me? The horror front is the reverse, they don't believe in anything they might be atheists they might be atheists. They might be a person that believe in guides and spirits, ancestors. They don't believe in God. It doesn't matter. It could be any type of way. They could believe in God and not spirits. They don't have to believe in, in, in spirits or guides. And nobody is here forcible to believe in that. But I feel like this person has certain belief systems that you don't. You believe in certain things and they believe in other things. That could be a conflict. Or that was a conflict. Or it could be a conflict with the person you're meeting or dealing with moving forward. Because they don't believe shit like that. It's how they said it. I don't believe shit like that. So if they, if you talk to them about guys or ancestors or readers or anything you picked up, they're going to tell you, I don't believe in that shit. Yeah. They might be atheists, but they might have grown up in a, they might have grown up in a household where they didn't, they didn't, you know, go to church or they didn't believe in certain things. They were just brought up in a way like life, not going to church, not believing in anything, not believing in spiritual guides or any of this. It's just living life. Seeing it like I'm here and that's it. You feel me? There is a God, but I don't believe in none of that shit. My God, why do they keep on saying that? You know what? Their tongue is going to be cut off in half if they keep on saying that shit. Because they've already said it like two or three times to somebody here. And when, I, when she tells me, when she goes like this to me, it's like this person at some point is going to either have an accident 
or something's going to happen to this person's mouth, their jaw's going to start having problems, or their teeth is going to cause an infection in their jaw, or they might have an infection right on their teeth and it keeps on hurting, it's going to cause a problem in their mouth where their tongue either is going to be left to cut or the jaw is going to be missing, meaning they're going to have infections, infections over and over again, she's telling me. They might lose uh, several teeth, but there's going to be uh, something going on in this person's mouth for talking so much shit here. Wow. What else, Minera? That's getting me pissed off here. It's not my business, but... Yeah. This person, for talking all that shit in y'all saw me shuffle, is going to say stuck like a motherfucker. So whatever you're dealing with here, and this hasn't told you yet, they don't believe in anything. They don't even believe in the fuckery that's going on here with um you. You feel me? Like, whatever you say to them is like a joke to them. Oh, yeah, you know what? They make it look like it's good and dandy, but they don't believe in anything. They're going to be majorly stuck here for talking shit. And they're going to regret that to the, end, to the day they die. I'm telling you right now. So whoever told you they don't believe in shit here, they don't believe in, you know, spiritual guys, ancestors, even God himself, the higher power, whatever it is, they're going to regret this. And they're going to be stuck. They're not going to see around them. They're not going to be able to move. They're not going to be able to do shit. Their abundance is going to go down. A lot of things are going to start happening into their life. But you need to remove yourself from that energy because it can come back and jump on you. This person has talked so much shit that the ancestors and guides are after this person. And you might have not heard it yet. It might be something they said, hearing you talk about something like this. Let me see what else. You could be dealing here with um, an Aries, a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Aries again, Pisces. Scorpio, Cancer, Aries, Gemini, Gemini again, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini again. You might be dealing with a strong Gemini, or Gemini in your chart, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Aries again, Sagittarius. Let me see what else. The King of Swords. It's like no emotions whatsoever here. Direct and forward. It is what it is. I say what I say. It is how I say it. You know, whoever you're dealing with here, or this might be you, Capricorn. It is what it is. And I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want. And you're going to listen to me. And I have no fucking emotions. I don't give a fuck. I ain't going to cry over this. It is what it is. Is what I'm hearing. But this person likes to ask for a lot in different ways. They might ask you for money. They might ask for things. They might just pretend they need something so you could offer it. This person is very, very sneaky here. You took this person out of a situation or you're taking somebody out of a situation where they were stuck. Either they had no money, they were, you know, it was going wrong with their bills or their, the way they were living or whatever it was. You took this person out of the situation. Like you saved this person with something, with your blessings and your guidance. And you had to do a lot of things for this person here to get this person out of a situation here. And it's like, yeah, it's like in the bottom of the deck. You did a lot for this person. You helped this person financially, and they don't give a fuck. At the end of the day, they're going to walk away with no emotions. Capricorn, whoever you're dealing with here, be careful. And whoever you were dealing with here was using you. My God. What else here? The Ace of Cups came out on the fence. So you might be thinking about somebody, or somebody might be thinking about you, or somebody might be headed your way. It's the fence. So when it comes out on the fence, it's like either for me, it's like either thinking about somebody, or somebody's coming your way. So you might have somebody new coming in your way. Or you might be with this person and you're in love with this person. And you, you're picking up things intuitively and you don't know what to do about it. Knight of Swords, again. Well, the Knight of Swords. Not again, because the Queen of Swords is here. A lot of fights, a lot of things going on here. A lot of drama and chaos is going to happen here with somebody here. They have too many secrets, but you're going to find out about these secrets. If you're going good with a person here and this doesn't fit you, leave it alone. Okay, because it's not your reading. But if you're with, with a person here and you're picking up things that are intuitively or you think there's something off, this is the reading. You've been working very hard. Okay, when it comes to working, your whatever it is, your job, your hustle, whatever it is, you're working very hard and people are not appreciating this. They want to nurture themselves, keep secrets from you and not let you nurture yourself. 
But at the, at the end of the day, you are nurturing yourself is what I'm seeing here. It's like you don't give three fucks. You're going to nurture yourself. You're going to do whatever you want. And you're going to keep it quiet. You don't give three fucks. You're not a person here that I'm seeing that's trying to cause a problem here when it comes to fighting. But secrets are going to come out to the light. You're here working your ass off. To get stability, abundance, money in the home, whatever it is. And this person's keeping secrets from you. They're sticking around behind your back while you're at work. They're, they're doing a lot of things here secretly. You're going to have a lot of changes in your life coming in, um, Capricorn. Let me see what else. The Six of Wands. In reverse. This person... Listen, this person has no ability to move forward in any type of way. It's like a person that if you leave them, they want to come after you because they don't really care. It's a person that when you leave them, they switch over to another personality is what I'm picking up. They have two personalities. One day they feel good. One day they feel bad. One day they're nice. One day they're mean. One day they're laughing. One day they're very serious. One day they're joking around. One day it's like, what the fuck is going on with you? That's what I'm picking up from this person. You just want to be happy with the family. You might have a child with this person, okay? If you're dealing with this person, you, have a, you might have a child with this person. And when I say might have a child with this person, you might have a child or might get somebody pregnant or have a child with this person here. Or they have a child. You have the Knight of Pentacles here. On top of the Knight of Pentacles. Look at this. Nine of Pentacles on top of the Nine of Pentacles. You need to you need to do more for yourself. Nurture yourself. Go into your thoughts. Know what you want. What makes you happy? What makes you and your heart may happy? What makes your soul happy? Not what you think that people want. You feel me? You need to nurture yourself more. Give yourself more. And look up to yourself. Nobody else. Because there's things that you don't want here. And there's things that you want here. But somebody's making you confused here. And it might be family or friends. You need to nurture yourself severely. Is the guidance here. Somebody here is hiding things from you. You might be giving somebody money. You might be helping them and they're hiding it, they're saving it, they're holding it down to their chest until they get what they want. This is a very interesting and weird reading. Let me see here. What else here for Capricorn? Temperance in reverse. It's like this person has no balance whatsoever in their life. Everything in this person is bad. The passion, the lust, or whatever it was when you met this person is going to go away. They have no ability to balance themselves out. They don't even know how to balance out their life. How the fuck are they going to balance out yours? This is why your guard is up. You're intuitive. You're picking this up. This person has no... This person, if you haven't seen their colors yet, they're going to come out. This person's going to leave you stuck. They're stuck in their own mind. Is what I'm picking up here. They're a master manipulator. This person's a master manipulator. Wow. Give me one more minute. She gave me two. <laughs> they landed like this right here. The judgment and the ace of swords. Listen, you have spiritual guides here. But I'm picking more up like a past loved one. That's trying to help you move forward. You are going to move forward, but you're looking for the truth of something here. And the truth is going to come out. The Ace of Swords is all about the truth. Okay? It could be anything. Truth. Lies. Hidden things. You know, with the Moon card here. There's a lot of hidden things here. The truth is going to come out to the light. And if you already did, you already saw it. But the truth will, will come out to the light. And there's a spiritual... There's a person here that's in the, in the realm that's going to help you see that. Somebody that passed away I'm picking up here with the Judgment card. But you have also guys and ancestors here that are trying to guide you the right way. But this person is hiding a lot of secrets and you're going to find out who it is. And before you get stuck, you need to, you need to, you really need to work with your guys, your ancestors and find out what the fuck this person is trying to do here. Or what they did to you. This person is in the bottom of the deck. The fool again. Right there in the top of the reading. The fool ended. The fool started the reading and the fool ended the reading. This person... Is a person that will be with you and 20,000 people. Or will jump from person to person. Or if you leave them or they leave you, they don't give a fuck. They jump to another person. Wow. 
Is there an advice here for Capricorn? Let me see. What does it say? Manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Trust your heart. Trust your intuition and follow it because your intuition are your guides. And follow your heart. Go where your heart leads you. Not where nobody else wants to lead you. Okay? Do your own thing. Trust your heart. Trust your emotions. Sometimes the heart can play tricks on you. You feel me? So follow your intuition. That's the way I'm picking it up. Let me see. Let me give you a spiritual animal. Mineira. What a spiritual animal here is for Capricorn. Follow your heart. The way that intuitively you're picking it up. Because remember, sometimes intuitive intuitively people get stuck with their ego and they follow their ego instead of their intuition which is intuitively so you know there's something coming your way that you want it's either the truth about something a clarity about something but follow and continue that guidance and you'll be fine but the most definitely the truth out of this person is coming out and it's going to make you move forward but you're going to meet somebody along the way somebody's coming in here to offer you something Okay, that they want with you. So whether it's now, in the future, or in the present, or whatever it is, you're going to see it coming. Let me see. What spiritual animal is here for Capricorn? Minera. I love when I say Minera, she just throws it down. She loves when I say Minera. Let me see what you got. You got the cougar. Assertive. In silence, you'll find a power. Claim your leadership role and take action. You know where to go and what to do. You have the courage and confidence to, to succeed. I am not going to say nothing else about this reading. That close of the damn reading. Like, right here, I'm going to read it again. I'm going to read it again just to close it. It says, in silence, you find power. Claim your leadership role and take action. You know where to go and what to do. You have the courage and confidence to succeed. I'm going to end it like that. I love you all. I'm going to wish you the best of luck. And I'll see you later, my loves.